Wow, can y'all believe that? A Cupid one. Right there, look where I was shooting from. 30 yards. First time I've ever done that in my life. Look at that group. That's why I'm gonna tell y'all about a crossbow that I just bought. Um, I hunt with my crossbow during rifle season. I hunt my crossbow all the muzzle loading season. It's one of my favorite ways to hunt. And I bought a new one. And as y'all can see, I've just started to shoot it this afternoon. And you can see how accurate it is. And I'm telling y'all, it's one of the cheapest crossbows on the market to date. So let me show y'all this crossbow. Stay tuned. Guys, I want to talk to y'all about a crossbow that I just bought. As you can see, the shooting that it does, it's, it's amazing. I think I gave $220 for this. It's the Apocalypse crossbow. It's made by Carnage, which it's a off of a bear. Bear makes it, they changed the name to Carnage, and it's uh, Apocalypse. If you really can't tell here, it's got the real short limbs, really short limbs. It comes with the scope. Y'all look at this crossbow. It is sweet, sweet. Um, awesome crossbow. The stock expands. You got your hand rest here. Really, really nice bow. Anyway, I just bought this online, Gander sporting goods not gander mountain gander sporting goods as y'all can see i just shot and y'all see how good of a group it makes at 30 yards uh basically a cupid one so that was pretty awesome that's the first time i've ever done that it's also something else i like it's got these absorbers right here for your line when it comes in and hits it absorbs the shock and it makes it not that loud where the crossbow is not that loud i hunt a lot with a crossbow. I hunt during bow season with one, I hunt during muzzleloading with one, and I hunt a lot of times during rifle with one. It's my favorite way to hunt. Uh, and I've killed a lot of deer with one, a lot. I used to shoot a Horton bow, and I've killed a many a deer with that one, but this year I want to get one of the more smaller, compact ones. I've, I looked online for these. There's not a lot about them online, so that's the reason I'm doing this video. Um, they are really good bows, accurate as they can be. Anyway, I'm really excited about it. The bow's kind of long. I like that, a little bit longer than, than my Horton. And the limbs are really, really small. You really can't see the size on this video of how small they are. Now, let me show you this. Hang on. Okay, now I've cocked it. And you can kind of see how small it is now or how the limbs come back. It's very compact, easy to get around in a tree or a ground blind or whatever you want to do with it. It is very, very, very compact. It's, just a, it's longer, and that's fine. I have no problem with that. And as I say, the stock comes out. Anyway, y'all saw me shoot it. I'm going to shoot it one more time, see if I can get this on video. I'm doing this with my phone. But anyway, y'all hang on just a second. All right, let's shoot this thing. Y'all saw where I hit last time. Y'all saw where I hit last time. As y'all can see, right there, they call that a cupid, cupid arrow. Let's walk down here and see where we hit. Show y'all how accurate this thing is. Y'all remember in the other video where the, the bow was hitting? If I would have had those arrows in there, I would have split another one. Look at that. I'm telling y'all, this crossbow is going to be deadly. I can't wait to get it into the woods. I'm excited about it. If you're looking for a crossbow, I'm telling you this is the way to go. 200 bucks, you can't go wrong. Anyway, I'm getting ready to go in the woods here in a couple of months, and I'm really excited about having this thing sighted in already. Thank y'all for watching, and I appreciate it.